my name is Lidiana Rusnasari. You can call me Lydia or Diana. Uh, I'm a public relations officer of Relawan Journal Indonesia. is a non-profit organization to help to gather people and sharing their knowledge. Uh, and uh, what we are different from the others non-profit organization because um, actually when we started, we don't know much about uh, journal publications, academic publication and so on. We are growing together, learning and sharing and updating all the time. That's why I, uh, in a, the title, I call it, it's, it's a never ending learning because we always do the learning process from the beginning of the organization and until now. So first of all, I will tell you about the story about Indonesia during these five years. So we have the mega publishers in journals and academics. Uh, there are several very big publishers. Uh, they really uh, dominate almost all subjects, uh, even in Indonesia, even we have the language barriers. So as you know that English is not my native language, I am Indonesian, uh, but because I learn about the English literature and so on, uh, so I can uh, through those uh, language barriers. So pardon me if my English is not really good, but I will try my best to explain you about the stories about journal managers in Indonesia. We lack of sources, um, and we also lack of support. That's why it's like uh, we did, we were in 2016, we started this organization like uh, some people in a dark room uh, and we have to, and some people in a dark room and we close our eyes. So even when our eyes is opened, we still cannot see anything. That's why we have to make the light itself by sharing. So uh, this picture is created by uh, Mr. Erwin that will be uh, present next week. Uh, our local and national publisher is just like this and we are surviving until now and we are still growing and the number of uh, journals in Indonesia is growing very fast. And this is not all journals in Indonesia is about business, but mostly we share because we want to participate. So that started in 2016. There were changes in government regulation in scientific publication for from printed to uh, online. So uh, they gather, people gather information from trainings and meetings. But sadly at the time, those training and those meetings are very expensive. We have uh, some organization that already well literate about this academic publishing, but they are so exclusive. So uh, we have to uh, spend more than uh, in a very big amount of money, but the institution is very uh, diverse. Small institutions also have journal publishing, so they cannot afford to join the trainings and meetings. That's why in 2016, we started these organizations. Uh, some journal managers from across Iron Indonesia gathered and started the idea to build an NGO, the nonprofit one, to educate. This is not meaning that we will educate it now, but we started uh, in a very basic level of knowledge about academic publishing. So uh, we are building a community. Uh, we have the general managers along with authors and the viewers. And in 2000 and, uh, 2000 and, uh, 2020, when we, uh, when we launched our, uh, one of our 
we will launch one of our uh, publications program. Uh, we have these pictures from outside the organization. So uh, Mr. Erwin is drawing this, but actually he is not part of our organization, but he was saying that uh, as an organization, we have the skills, we have the knowledge, and we have the public support. That's what uh, power us because uh, we want to, let's say, uh, have research that really engaging to all people, not only for those in academia, but also for society. And it also can influence the government in the long run. But the potential that we have uh, in the corners of Indonesia, in the corners of thousands of islands in Indonesia, should have already known by people, not only from the academic publication, but also for all people that becomes, for example, like teachers, uh, lecturers, students, even those who are claiming themselves as researchers. Because uh, we have a challenge that when we read about sources, mostly sources are in English, but actually the sources that are already in our country haven't published yet. So the language barrier becomes a homework for us. But we're dealing with that because many of uh, people in, in the organizations are volunteer. They are giving their time, they are giving their energy, and they're also giving their ideas to building up this nonprofit organization. So if we talk about open science in Indonesian journals, technically, practically, mostly, because we are using OGS as the platform by PKP, but the openness itself actually started because we are volunteers that getting together. We are growing for only a bunch of people, now we have more than 200 volunteers around Indonesia in 30, uh, in a, in for, uh, sorry, Indonesia have 34 provinces. So in each provinces, we have a representation, representative person who manage to be the person, the PIC person that probably if people need help can contact this person. If this person cannot uh, afford to help them, they can contact us in in the center of Indonesia to uh, to come to their cities or their town. We work together to assist journal managers. This is very challenging because uh, not all people. It's very limited people in Indonesia that has computer literate. They also have the language barrier. So technical problem, internet connection, and also the literacy becomes our problem at first. In the, during three years, we uh, start our training by building awareness why academic publication is important for us, why writing in academic way is important why people has to read why so those basic ideas and skills are everywhere it's just like a very big homework for us but this community now uh, become place to find answers because we have a platform we build a platform that people can register log in and ask because those 200 volunteers already there to answer the question for all, all around Indonesia. So they can drop the questions. We answer, we also provide a YouTube tutorial. We also provide facts, examples, and so on. In many sources, we also use Zenodo to, uh, let's say, keeping our uh, documents so everybody can access. We, we also uh, have 
let's say uh, before COVID, uh, I usually we also going places in Indonesia to have training, meeting them face to face and uh, train them how to manage a journal, an academic journal. We provide even and mostly free of charge because now uh, during COVID, all of them are online. So these events is regularly like uh, once in a week. Sometimes we do it once uh, in uh, two days for like series, for example, like we collaborate with the OIG, uh, we collaborate with them. So we can, let's say, having series of training. Uh, the best line that make us always growing is culture of sharing, because uh, this sharing, even the knowledge is very limited in one person, but we share it. And this part of little knowledge that we have, and, and then it's also uh, joined with the other people that also probably just little knowledge. Those little knowledge becomes a mountain of knowledge academia, researcher, librarian, etc. Everyone, everyone who concerned about academic publication journals, uh, usually they become our big supporters. And we collaborate to grow. RGE as uh, Indonesian Journal Volunteer Association, because we are a nonprofit organization, the concern is more in management the scientific journals in Indonesia. And to support it, we collaborate with ORCID. We uh, have a good member of ORCID and four of the Crossref ambassadors from Indonesia are RGE volunteers, uh, including me, becomes the Crossref ambassadors. And we also building a good network with LIPI. LIPI is Indonesian Institute of Sciences. It's a government institute of sciences. To and for this collaboration, we develop what we call a journal stories.ai. This is the platform still in building. I mean, it, it haven't launched yet because uh, we plan to launch this platform in uh, June, in this June 2021. This platform becomes a hub between scientific journal managers, scientific journal management association, and scientific associations. So to, uh, we have different point of view here in Indonesia because uh, we don't, we don't actually, we don't really comfortable with the rank from Simago, for example because we don't really comfortable with that. We create our uh, network by uh, also uh, bringing up the scientific associations. So the ones that we believe that uh, those people in associations, in scientific associations, are people who can, uh, let's say they can chat whether this journal has to improve in what way. Uh, is it a good journal or is it a, a journal that needs to improve improvement? We are not saying any bad journals because we don't have any blacklisted journals, no. We are concerning about improving, not blacklisting, including and excluding indexing. That's not our main goal because we built ourselves uh, from scratch so we want everyone's journal managers, reviewers, authors, uh, they are keeping the quality as a community along with a scientific association. So uh, the obstacles, of course, uh, <laughs> pragmatic people around Indonesia, there are so many pragmatic people. They uh, get, they, uh, there are also some people becomes mafia publication. They provide instant publication, unethical practice of publication. And the second uh, big obstacle is the culture of writing. Indonesian people has a culture of speaking and telling stories, but they are not really good in writing actually. Writing is uh, 
one of our biggest obstacle to get in touch with the publishing in academy. And the third obstacle is the competition among education institution. For it, because I, you know, uh, there are so many competitions uh, because of the rank and that make us compete most of, but most of the ways actually is the sometimes it's not appropriate that's why uh, in journal stories later we don't have any rank but we have stickers and labels just like we are doing in games and in two in 2020 um rje as a non-profit organization but we can become the bronze sponsor for the oig we have uh, more than 10 people becomes associate editors. And we have also uh, three people becomes editors in the OIG. This is our milestone to participate in open science worldwide. And uh, LGE also become the biggest process affiliation in the world. Because even we started as community, we, we be uh, we uh, we help more than five thousand journals in Indonesia and outside Indonesia that publish from one thousand and five hundred local publishers. So uh, we becomes uh, the number is getting high and high because uh, institutes almost all education institutionals building their own journals publication. Uh, sometimes uh, probably this is bad, but actually we do it because we want uh, more quantity to start the quality itself. So we also, as an organization, we also build uh, unusual journals because this is an open journal. This is our pilot project, we call it pub letter. The pilot project because we use open review. So the reviewers and the authors, uh, everything is open. The reviewers uh, can know, this is not blind review because the author knows who reviews their uh, manuscript. And the reviewers also uh, participate it, uh, voluntarily. We are not bothered by the close rules like subscribes or blind review or even transfer copyright uh, because uh, this pub letter is also discussed about publication in Indonesia. We also Fund, uh, have a fund, uh, funding for research in academic publications. Uh, the for two uh, two groups of researchers that research about academic publications. So uh, those funding that we have, we share it into OIG or kit, and then also with people who has. Uh, ideas to research in academic publications. So the research should be talk about uh, publications. Okay, uh, this is my last slide. Uh, well, no, my last word, the last slide is about thank you. Uh, we, I call it never ending learning because we encourage also teachers to involve their students because uh, we started to look at to in the early age, uh, they can uh, submit their manuscript or their narrative science in journal for school. This is also our pilot projects. And I call it never ending learning because this is a very long road and never ending because we always update the information, the system of the journal itself the changing rules in the worldwide and the changing rules in my government. Uh, sometimes they are, uh, they are different in, you know, uh, 
when they are deciding what is good, what is bad. So this updating is doing all the time. That's why the learning process is always there. And the obstacle, one of them is also the lack of human resources along with language barrier. So that we invite everyone here to collaborate. If you want to collaborate with us, don't, don't hesitate to uh, drop an email for me and celebrate this learning process. Okay, that's all uh, for my presentation. Oh, uh, this is in Indonesia, it means in English, sharing to enhance the publications.